coming out of Saturday is that LSU has snagged a defensive back commitment for the 2025 class in state talent and Destrahan stand out down there in South Louisiana. Jace Thomas has announced his commitment to Corey Raymond, Jake Olson, and this LSU staff. This is a big get for the Tigers. Let's let's don't overlook what Destrahan has put out into not only just LSU, but into the NFL over the past decade or so. Jace Thomas is a guy who I'm really excited about to talk about. And we're going to dive into his tape. We're going to take a look at what he brings to the table and maybe what's next for this 2025 LSU class on this episode of Go 24-7. Hello, everyone. My name is Bryce Kuhn. Welcome in. Let's talk. Jace Thomas, big, big news as he commits to LSU over Ole Miss, over Houston, Colorado, and Texas Tech. Now, you look at the offer list. There's been some concerns. But let's get this out of the way. Thomas is a guy who is, I think, an under- recruited, undervalued recruit, and has really kind of burst onto the scene here over the past six months or so. Let's start back in early January. Thomas was a guy who, you know, was ranked as a three-star. I think he could see a bump to a four-star on 24-7, deserves one, but was known as to be a fast defensive back, had not played a ton of the position at the high school level, but gets into Destrahan and is dominant uh, in his junior season. Really a nice season that he put together back at the safety position. He can play safety and corner. And Gabe Brooks, 24-7 sports scouting analyst, kind of took a look at him right here. And here's what he had to say about the play of Thomas. He said he's a talented back-end defender who played receiver and tight end through his sophomore year before moving full-time to safety as a junior. Uh, he's verified at six foot, 185 pounds, in January 2024 at the All-American National Combine. He owns an NFL defensive back pedigree. He's the son of a 12-year-old pro, as a lot of people know. He owns encouraging athletic context on the track with an 11.07 100-meter, 22.87 200-meter, and a relay experience so far as a junior. Explosive numbers in the vertical and broad jump in the aforementioned AA combine. Good center field instincts on the back end of the defense. He displays broad pursuit range versus the run and the ability to cover vast chunks of territory versus the pass. He closes well and plays with willingness as a striker. Ball skills likely enhanced by prior offensive experience show on tape. Should only get better with continued experience in the defensive backfield. Very young for the 2025 cycle. In fact, he could be a 2026 guy. He predicts as a high major prospect who could develop into an NFL draft candidate. Now, you go back when he obviously played a little bit of tight end or a little bit of receiver. He made the move to the safety position as a junior. LSU, after talking with Thomas, is going to recruiting him both as kind of a combo guy. A guy that could play safety, could also play the cornerback position. But look... You go turn on the tape, and we're going to do that here in just a second. He's got good ball instincts. He's a guy who can defend the pass well, not afraid to be a little bit physical up in the run game as well when needed to be. And I like what Gabe said, too, about his center field instincts. He understands the game. He's able to read the quarterback very well. You're going to see when we take a look at this tape, I think why – You know, it took a while for LSU to offer him, and that's kind of a cool story you can check out on Go 24-7. I'll hint at this. One of the few guys that Brian Kelly himself has offered in person was Jace Thomas. Uh, Right after, right after he, not even after the camp, during the camp, at the start of it, right after he ran the 40 and posted a blazing time, um, the LSU staff said, hey, we want to go ahead and pull the trigger. But this is a guy who profiles as an athlete who is going to be a weapon, I think, on the back end of this defense once he gets in the room with Corey Raymond and Jake Olson, especially Olson if this is a guy in Thomas who stays at the safety position. But look, you you take a look at some of the rankings. Currently, he's a three-star. Like I said, I think he has the potential to be that four-star. He's a high-ranking three-star per 24-7 at that 89 ranking. I'm a top 15, top 20 player, depending on what you're looking at in the state of Louisiana, and a top 40 safety in the country. He's a guy that I've had a lot of conversations with. I think that there's a really a good sense of pride when it comes to playing for LSU. This is an offer he was waiting on. He really wanted. And when he earned it, um, you can go read that reaction. We'll have it posted down below in, in the bio of this uh, video or in this podcast. It's a big deal for him to be able to suit up for the purple and gold. And so this is a win. This is a win to keep a kid in state. It's a win to uh, you know see a kid rise to the occasion. Um, LSU, we're going to talk about what they have to do next, but Let's uh, let's take a look at the tape here because I think you're going to like some things that you can see when you watch him out there on the field. And this is his first year playing defense, by the way, which is you know quite kind of crazy. Like when you look at them, but you know playing that deep safety position, um, his ability, like we said, plays on a talented Destrehan team. But you can see right there, just good knack for being in the right place at the right time. I discipline too, which I think people are really uh, looking at. 
um, blocks field goals, can just play a myriad of roles on a defense. And I think, too, when you're looking at a guy like Thomas, he's one that you hope can contribute on special teams early while working his way into the rotation. He's versatile. He's got good speed. He's got ni- nice mobility, nice flexibility in his hips to be able to twist and turn with different routes. You can watch right here. Great play, kind of sticking to that guy and forcing the overthrow by the quarterback. That was a bad throw, but he helped force that. And just overall with what Thomas is able to do and continues to do, um, he, he's got a little grit to him. And you know, you saw that play right there. LSU fans will watch that play and it'll remind them of a couple of LSU DBs in the past. And look, of course, he's got to be able to do this at the SEC level. I mean, we were sitting here talking about the high school level, and he's a good player at the high school level. Can that translate? Uh, And I like what Gabe said. He's a guy who has a knack for making a play. He's in the right spot at the right time. And more often than not, if you can do that, you're going to put yourself in position to be a primetime player. And and Thomas possesses that type of ability of an under-the-radar commit, under-the-radar signee that could pop off with the right development and the right coaching. So I'm excited to watch Jace Thomas really kind of get into the fold here. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see what he can do in an LSU uniform. And like we talked about, you know, Brian Kelly continuing to lock down what they want to do in this state. That's going to be the biggest piece of the puzzle with a guy like Thomas, making sure you bring him in and, you know, what you're able to do. So I like the addition of Thomas. I'm excited to see how he develops. He's a really good athlete that could play both sides of the football. He's going to be on the defensive side, safety or corner, interchangeable. And as you see offenses become more dynamic, you see tight end positions become more dynamic. Uh, running backs, you know, be real weapons out of the backfield. Having guys that can be Swiss Army knives in the back end of a defense is huge. It, it's massive. It's absolutely great. So I absolutely love what Thomas brings to the table in terms of his ability to play safety or corner and be one of those interchangeable pieces. So that's kind of a look at his his tape. We talked about what is, or who is Jace Thomas. Now we're going to talk about you know what's next because you know that that's something that I think when we take a look at what's next for this team, you've got one DB now in the fold. You really, really, all eyes are going to turn to Jabori Antoine. Antoine announced his commitment on July the twentieth. Look, we know Miami's been in this race. We know that LSU's been in this race. We know that Oregon's been in the race. What is going to be the deciding factor? Antoine, obviously, out of Westgate there in New Iberia. You'd like to see him join the fold. You'd like to see him make his commitment, you know, to LSU to kind of, you know, re-up things with the Tigers. But it's going to be something where even if he doesn't, LSU's going to continue to pursue that. Another commitment that obviously got pushed back yesterday was Derek Meadows. All eyes are going to be on him next week when he makes that commitment. You know, I said this on the podcast yesterday with Glenn when we were previewing SEC media days. The fact that he pushed back kind of has me like, eh, I don't know. I thought LSU and a lot of people, including Tom Loy, uh, 24-7 Sports National Recruiting Analyst, felt like things were trending positively in LSU's direction. Anytime you see something like that pushed back, especially in the NIL NIL era, you have to bring up the fact that it gives teams an opportunity to get one last offer in, you know, one last to pony up one more time, as we'll say. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this recruiting class turns out, though. You have some some chips there. DJ Pickett is another guy that LSU fans are really hoping you can bring into the fold. But you had to get some 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 ground level guys, some foundational pieces, and I think Jace Thomas is one of those that you could build into a potential NFL player. Um, in Baton Rouge. It's going to be very interesting to watch. Recruiting never never takes a break, and it never sleeps. And it's a good reason for you to tune in to the YouTube channel. Head over to our channel as well, uh, whether it's in podcast form on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or the website, where we have great content from myself, Sonny Ship, and Glenn West, too. Jace Thomas, though, commits to LSU. It's a big pickup. Athletic, versatile, can do a lot of different things, and it keeps an in-state kid home. And don't forget, too, about Aiden Anding uh, up there in Ruston. Keep an eye on him, too, as LSU sorts out this defensive backfield in the 2025 class. We'll catch you next time here on the Go 24-7 podcast.